Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with this. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking. Like, and let's talk about Wendy Williams, Kevin Hunter Sr., and Kevin Hunter Jr. Well, Wednesday, it went down in a store parking lot where Kevin Hunter attacked his son, and put him in a headlock and then in return Kevin Jr. ended up punching his father in the face to get out of the headlock and the chokehold that Kevin Hunter had him in allegedly but Kevin Jr. was arrested and Kevin Sr. did not want to press charges and did not press charges against his son so in return Wendy Williams and her son Kevin Hunter Jr. got on a plane and flew to Chicago and was at the snack sweet expo basically trying to move on, trying to just keep going, trying to get that bag too as well because they're not going to let Kevin Hunter stop them in their bag. And one of the reasons why I believe Kevin Hunter was really upset is because the Kevin Hunter Foundation has dissolved, it's gone. And all the investors and the people that supported the Kevin Hunter Foundation has moved to Wendy's Williams' new foundation, which is called SnackGiven.org, which Kevin Hunter is pissed off because Kevin Hunter had to get out here and make a public announcement that the Kevin Hunter Foundation is dissolved and is going, and that way he doesn't get any more money, no more publicity, no more nothing, and all the investor has now followed Wendy and invested in her new adventure which is snackgiven.org and so wendy williams interviewed while she was in chicago with sweet and snacks expo she interviewed and she really looked kind of disheveled she looked like she was going through some things and you know she is going through some things because her husband soon to be ex-husband is putting her through so much he's making sure that he tries to keep that tight hold on wendy williams when it comes to attacking the son and basically i believe kevin hunter called the cops because he knew tmz he knew all the blogs would be talking about the story and this more tarnished wendy williams career and then on top of that it hurts her too as well having kevin senior attack kevin jr and basically kevin senior attacking kevin jr you know accusing him of being lazy accusing him of living off of wendy williams which is his mother accusing him of not having his own brand and build his own self up and then also accusing kevin jr of being manipulated and siding with Wendy Williams which is his mother and so he was upset with Kevin Jr and then on top of that he wanted his spousal support because he has a new child that he has to take care of and right now he can't live off of Wendy Williams anymore the shit's done the shit is over with with that part of the situation if she's faking it or not she has to cut ties with Kevin Hunter and basically that means cutting ties with all business and associates together so the business and the associates and the developers and the investors are moving along with Wendy Williams and I I believe Kevin Hunter is very salty and he's in his fifis and he feels bad about it because now he doesn't have the Kevin Foundation anymore. The Kevin Hunter Foundation is gone. It's over with. So he was acting like big man over there at that foundation and having all these employees and just basically can brag about it, but he can't no more. He couldn't even keep the foundation going on his own merit. So it had to be dissolved. And plus, Wendy Williams had to move forward. She got to keep her coin in her coin and her pocketbook and making sure that her son, Kevin Jr., has generational wealth where he can pass wealth down to his children too as well and he can go to college without working or working a part-time job and having student loans he is blessed in that way and that's something that Wendy Williams wanted for her son and Kevin Jr. realized and he sees and he knows what was going on between Wendy Williams and his father Kevin Hunter Sr. and so it's not easy for it's very easy for him to pick sides or pick who was the wrong one and if you look at everything it looks like Kevin Hunter is the wrong one he's the one that was out here cheating on Wendy Williams for almost 10 years with a mistress and then had a baby on the side journey and then on top of that it's alleged that he was messing with avion foster which was signed to kevin hunter's record label and the sex escapades between them that was allegedly is out there so it's much more of an embarrassment of what kevin hunter is doing and wendy williams tried her best for so long to hide that her marriage was going through problems to try to quiet down the situation to try to get kevin hunter to do better and be better because she ultimately didn't want to divorce or move away from kevin because she loved him and that was her partner then on top of that kevin hunter did have control over her he had control over her mind he had control over what she wear how she talked he had control over her when it comes to 
rekindle her friendships and her relationship. And that's why in the past, Wendy Williams has dissolved a lot of her relationships because Kevin Hunter was interfering with that. And he wanted to have, you know, Wendy Williams all to himself and basically be her uplifter. So, and that's one of the reasons why Kevin Hunter got rid of Charlamagne the God because Charlamagne the God and Wendy Williams were very close friends and good friends. And Charlamagne the God also lived with Wendy Williams for a time. So, it is what it is. So, it's going down. So, I believe Kevin Hunter is upset because no spousal support. His son has chose his mother's side and he has another child that he has to take care of. And then if things go wrong with him and Sharina Hudson... He, he would have to pay child support too as well. And then on top of that, Wendy Williams taking all her investors and putting them in to the snackgiving.org. And then also Snack Sensational Brand partnered with Wendy Williams, which was partnered with the Kevin Hunter's foundation. They all moved away from Kevin Hunter and went towards Wendy Williams. So Wendy Williams, after the domestic violence situation between Kevin Hunter and Kevin Jr. They went to Chicago to secure that bag and keep doing what they're doing. And you can tell that this shit is wearing on Wendy Williams. You know, she's she's fighting a good fight. She's trying to let us know what she's doing every day, what she's doing on the weekend, who she's hanging with, who she's chilling with, trying to be happy and trying to move on. As she's doing that and showing the world that she is, is life after being with a spouse that tormented you. He was decided, well, you know what? I don't like it. And he went after the son to try to change the son's mind towards his mother, to speak negative of his mother, to choose his side, but it didn't happen and it didn't work. So we're going to see how this situation pans out. And we're going to see if Wendy Williams actually speaks about the situation on hot topics because this is a hot topic because it's like damn kevin hunter is not trying to go away and he's doing anything and everything to get under wendy williams skin because of her newfound happiness he is trying to corrupt their son too as well and then on top of that he attacks his own son so kevin hunter when things don't go your way do you think physical violence is the way to go to put your hands on somebody because they don't agree with you they don't agree with what you're saying you don't know how to walk away so it also makes us believe that if you can beat your 18 year old son and put him in a chokehold and 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 put him in a headlock that you would have done this to wendy williams too as well allegedly so let's see how all this pans out please let me know how you guys feel about the situation but i am proud and happy that wendy williams and her son kevin hunter was able to go to chicago and do their sweet their snack sweet expose and move on and continue so it shows you no matter what you're going through you can get arrested you know your ex-husband can come after you but you still got to keep moving because nothing stops for you even if you're wendy williams you got to keep moving you got to keep going peace i'm out one love to all my peeps and my peoples peep squad is in the building baby tell me your thoughts on what you think about the situation peace one love to all of y'all